Good morning, YouTube. I am going to make this video very short. Um, I woke up to some really bad news today. I knew I was coming to South Carolina and a very dear friend of mine lives here and I happen to be on a 34 hour reset so and I happen to be bobtail so I was gonna hop on over to her house and um, since I got here last night I wasn't getting any answer and I was like well that's kind of weird but um, I woke up this morning to find out that some asshole being trying to be pulled over by the police decided he wanted to uh, lead them on a chase uh, he went through her house and landed on top of her. She was killed instantly. So, if you ever getting pulled over by the police, pull the fuck over. People these days just don't think of the consequences of their actions and fucked up shit like this happens. So, um, I want to keep to my word, even though now I need to go to my friend's house and go be with her family. Um, I said I would make this video, so let's knock it out. Uh, this video is going to be about uh, to reset or not to reset. How do you do your schedule so that you don't have to reset? The easy answer is save your hours. So essentially you have 14 hours to drive 10, technically 11 hours a day. Most of us run that clock out we like to get our miles in. You don't want to drive any less than 500 miles a day if you want a decent paycheck. Sorry, my bed's a mess. I just got done making breakfast and cooking is not the hard part. Cleaning is a pain in the ass, but it's worth it. Um, so, you get your miles in. If you came out here to make money, this is how you make money run a minimum of 500 miles a day okay now the way you run so you do not have to reset and you can just run all seven days a week is you save your hours so a good equation that has been handed to me by multiple people including my mentors is you drive only eight hours a day no more than eight hours a day that frees up two hours of your driving time every day and you cannot be on duty a total of nine hours a day so what happens is you stick to that schedule so that last hour so you drive eight hours but you're technically on duty for nine you have your 30 minute break 15 minute pre-trip 15 minute post trip that's the perfect recipe to not have to reset you drive eight hours no more than that and one hour of on-duty time that one hour is comprised of 15 minute pre-trip 30 minute break and 15 minute post trip if you follow that simple equation on the eighth day so there's a funny saying out here in the trucker world every day is the eighth day of your week I didn't make that up that's what they tell us in school. Some of you probably never heard it and that's fine. All you owner operators that have a shitload of opinions. I'm not here to teach people about the world of trucking. I am still learning and will continue to learn the world of trucking. I'm here to share my experiences. So now that we have that bit of business out of the way, uh, they teach us this from day one in school. Every day is your eighth day. You can try to make of that what you will. But essentially, every day your clock is resetting. After a complete seven days, which would be the start of what would be an eighth day, your 70 hours for the week, week resets. So if you only drive eight hours a day, the extra two hours times the seven would give you your 14 day period, your 14 hour period for that is extra day these are called recap hours so essentially you can drive all seven days of the week until your hours reset and you never have to stop is this ideal fuck no it's just not it is damn near impossible unless I don't know you put late schedules so 
the reason I say it's damn near impossible, when they send you your loads, they're looking at your hours. They sent me my load for after I reset and they had already taken into consideration approximately what time I would start my reset, what time I'd be off that reset, and literally five minutes later be ready for the load. Um, they take all of that into your into account and they already know whether you could accept the load or not accept the load pretty much before they send it. Unless, you know, you've been stuck in traffic or you got a flat tire or your truck needs to go to the shop, they obviously no one can prepare for those instances. For the most part, there's a whole team dedicated to doing nothing but staring at your hours and seeing how far they can push you. So if you want to follow their their plan is going to be for you to run your clock out every day so when you accept these loads if you don't want to reset you need to make sure that you have enough time to drive eight hours a day and still be able to get your load there on time nine times out of ten you won't be able to because one thing you're going to learn really fast once you get off the mentor's truck and you start doing this by yourself, you have to learn. If you don't have it by the time you get off that truck, you're going to have it in the first 24 hours. You have to understand how your time works because that's how you get paid. You have to make sure that you can take these loads and that you have enough time to take the loads. So taking this load that they gave me yesterday, I wasn't even finished with the load I was on, but I run. I run between five and six hundred miles a day sometimes more yesterday i did 690 miles it's crazy but i'm trained to do it that way that's how my other mentor ran and that's how i run so they're already putting me other loads and i know just by looking at it okay i got 34 hours to reset then it's a live load so these live unloads and loads have been taking three sometimes four hours when there's only they're only supposed to take two you have to be able to count all of those hours and say, okay, so I'm only going to get this many hours of driving time. And then you have to account for the 10 hours you have to be off the clock. You have to know how to do all of that, which is part of your trip planning. So for all of y'all that are coming to Swift, focus, focus, focus on your time. Learn what the different times mean. You have, I'm looking at it right now. Watch, let me flip the camera around. You have an eight hour clock, an 11 hour clock, a 14 hour clock, a 70 hour clock. Now, if we take away this 70 hour clock, it looks like I have a 14 hour day and 11 hour, it looks like I'm good to go. But on this clock right here, this is your weekly hours. I have three hours and 53 minutes. Could I get out and go drive and get closer to where I got to pick up that load? Yes, but I don't have a trailer because where I dropped off didn't have any empty trailers for Swift. I was the only Swift person there. Um, so they're going to send me a trailer solution when my reset is done. Now, could I have driven closer to where I'm going to pick up? Yes, but I didn't want to do that. The reason being, the trailer I'm going to pick up could very well be closer to here. I could get all the way over there and then have to backtrack and go back. It's just, you stay put. When you don't have a trailer, you stay put until they tell you where the trailer is. And then you go to the trailer. Also, I, have to, I had to reset. There was no way around it. I had to reset. So the sooner I could get off the clock and get that reset, the sooner my 34 hours would be up and I could just take care of everything all at once. So it's those little tidbits that you kind of, I mean, nobody's out here to tell you what's right and what's wrong. You figure it out the hard way. So save yourself some time and trouble. You're going to do some exercises if you come through Swift. You're going to have a day where it's going to be you, a partner, and an atlas, and you're just going to do trip planning. Really pay attention that day, because if you don't understand what it takes to get somewhere, and the time, and how these clocks right here work, you are going to fall on your face. Time, time, time. Learn the clocks, learn what they mean, 
and learn when you have to take your breaks, how long you have to be on break. Um, a lot of people were asking, you know, how do you go where you don't have to reset? That was one of my questions because I kept telling both of my mentors always had to take 34s. I personally don't like sitting around for 34 hours. I didn't come out here to look at truck trailers. So I usually wind up parking somewhere. Usually I'm bobtail, which is great. Even with my mentor, we were bobtail during the time that we were on 34. So we drove to the movies, to shopping centers. I'd go, this is the time where I go get my nails done, get my hair cut. I typically do not sit in the truck for the 34 hours. If I have a trailer, then we try to park somewhere like a Walmart or somewhere where it's a big open area where I can just park. Or what I have done in the past uh, with my first mentor, he liked to stay on the truck. I did not. I called Uber. Hey, I'm here. Come get me. Take me to the nearest shopping center that has shopping, movies, food. Just leave me there. I don't like to sit on the truck. I don't think that you're going to like to sit on the truck either. So just kind of prepare ahead of time for these type of things if you can run on the eight hours a day nine hours total more power to you eventually you're going to get tired and you're going to learn to respect the 34 hour reset because you need the break you really do need the break especially if you run the way uh, myself and other drivers run we run that clock out i run until i have like one or two minutes left after I do my post trip, I literally just leave enough time to post trip and get the fuck off the clock. And I didn't want to have to reset, but I make the reset work for me. I don't hang out at the truck stop. I get in there, I get clean, I do what I gotta do, and I take off. I go see where I'm at. I'm always in a different city and state, so it's cool to get out and see what's going on. Uh, there's lots of museums, there's all kinds of shit. So just be prepared to do resets um you're gonna have problems with the trips the loads that they send you if you're only trying to drive eight hours a day because their plan is for you to run that clock out so that is the difference between having to reset and not having to reset um like i said the choice is yours nobody's going to tell you what's right and what's wrong you do what you want to do behind this wheel and what you feel safe doing So, I hope that that answers y'all's questions, and again, pay attention to the clocks, pay attention to the times, understand what they mean, you're going to do a whole bunch of that when you go to the academy, pay attention, a lot of people in, this, in the classroom were just like, oh, I don't want to do this, I, that's what my mentor's for, pay attention, really pay attention, because that clock is how you get paid, if you don't understand the clock, you're gonna fall on your face honestly so i'll try to get another video out tonight whenever i get back i've got a lot of stuff to go do today uh with this tragedy and um y'all just pay attention when you're on the roads don't be like this asshole who now instead of whatever the fuck they were going to pull him over for you know he's got evading arrest and now he's got vehicular manslaughter like is it, is it worth it? I don't fucking think so. Uh, Y'all have a good day.